I've just finished watching a video um, about these two mother and daughter that have been sentenced to really high sentences in prison in the UK over here at the moment. And it's because oh, the story goes, and I don't know how famous it is because this is the first I've heard of it, so it's probably, I don't know. But the story goes, mother and daughter, the daughter was a TikTok person, don't know what level she was at. Daughter was a TikTok person. The mother was being extorted by the this fella. The daughter then recruited her followers to go and apparently beat this guy up to stop him from um, blackmailing her mum. And <clears throat> um, obviously the people who she recruited all piled in and there was like eight of them or something and they ran him off the road and he died and this other kid died as well and uh it's all kicked off and um like i say all these people have got like 30 year sentences like people are saying stuff because it's in disproportionately uh large sentences for the crimes that have been committed even though it's a murder but compared to other murders so um i mean i've got my theory on that which is that Moving forward, if uh, certain powers that be are going to be using the internet and influencers, as I believe they are, as a control method for his social st scoring business and basic normalisation of anything they want, any propaganda they want to normalise, they can use these influencers for like absolute peanuts. And you've got a whole army of absolute idiots who are willing to just do and say whatever you want to huge, great, big tracts of people um just for a few quid nothing um so and people don't think that's like there's something up with that there's no training course there's no license there's no regulation there's no fuck all these idiots can literally go and do whatever they want have the power that is given to them by having that money and influence over them and none of it ever comes to anything apart from when it all fucks up like this two people lose their lives and another set of people and quite young people i think i i don't know i'll find some more details out and put them in here but um you know quite young people then lose their whole life because they've got a life of imprisonment um and you know down i mean yeah people are fucked up don't get me wrong people are all fucked up but um like part of that is because again it's just these ripples of this post technology um society that we're in now and people think that we're like well embedded in it and yeah it's been going for like 30 40 years um the internet how long like 30 years or something um but it's really not that long evolutionarily speaking and it's really not that long societally speaking um and we are going to be having a massive um, pushbacks massive um just like results you know so societally and psychologically i mean i'm going to go into the psychology side of things in the, at a future day but um yeah these are massive massive repercussions um and then on top of it you've got these gangsters involved who are just stirring the pot because obviously they've got vested interest they want to control humanity um the fucking idiots do you know what i mean and they're just like going around stirring the pot so we've got that on top and for me like i say that um huge sentence that these two people have got um that is the direct result of them being like basically if we're to move forward with this then we tell you what to do online nobody else if not, you're going to be in some serious trouble. That is literally all they've got to try and control people with because they're they're putting so much investment, so much store into <clears throat> this whole thing and these people being so influential because it's served them really well up until now. But they're going to have to put some serious measures in to try and... Obviously, they've done it with youtube and things like that to censor people and things like that that's more expected but this is going we're going to see different and interesting things because they, they are there are aspects of this where their backs are going to be up against the wall because there are things in their little plan that they won't have expected or they will have expected but they don't know exactly how it's going to go down so that's just how i think this one's been um being manipulated in my opinion 
Um, I don't know enough about the case to see it's like people have murdered people. So it's not like I'm like playing the violin for these people. But at the same time, I think these guys are a little bit of a casualty of the uh, them testing out um, population control, mind control methods. Um, and on the second, you know, like it's a cautionary tale. And this is not the reason why I bring it up. People don't understand why the e-begging thing was an, was an issue because it's not anymore. It's been normalised. Uh, the only issue that the e-begging thing was, was a few people sitting up going, can you see that this is being normalised and how fucked up this is? Obviously, there's only a small window of opportunity for that to be a thing. Now it's just normalised. We're all, you know, we're, we've just become that much stupid, stupider. We've just become that much more reliant on outsourcing our own thought processes, our own critical thinking onto what, to, which which is becoming like more and more ridiculous people, more and more lower grade, lower level people every, every single time. So, um, yeah. You, you source yourself out to these people. You pay money. I mean, one of the main guys who's got done for this, I think he had a 30-year sentence or something stupid like that. Like, he was apparently, the judge was saying, infatuated with this streamer, even though he was in a relationship with somebody else. Um, But that's what I'm talking about. Do you know what I mean? People don't understand. People think it's because people... And a lot of people are like this. Oh, just jealous because that person's making money online. Um, yes, I'm sure there are a lot of low grade people who are like that, but there is a much deeper reason why this is an issue. Um, if you have any interest in the way that the world is being manipulated and the different groups, the different tiers, um, the way society and politically these things are being changed and manipulated, if you have any thought for the future, any thought for your kids or anything like that, then I do think it's very important to take an interest at least in how money, influence, propaganda is being used on people who have, you know, absolutely no experience. We're talking like 14 year old kids, you know, in a lot of cases um, who are from cradle to grave um, indoctrinated into a certain algorithm, into a certain way of being, into a certain way of speaking to to basically get your little reward you know the pavlov's fucking dog thing so like if anybody thinks that it's just gonna it's like one or the other you know you're either jealous of people making money online like someone's playing a guitar and you've got a problem with chucking a quid at them or um you know you're all for it um and or you're all against it it's just like it's really, really a lot deeper than that. And there's a lot more going on. And there's a lot more at stake than just like someone have someone being pissed off because they're doing their art and no one's getting anything in return. There's a lot more to it than that. So um, maybe have a look at some of these cases and especially this one that's come up at the moment, just to see where this influence can end up if it goes unfettered. Where, you know, people chucking a few quid at a person, it puts them in a pedestal. It puts them in a certain position in their mind. Um, they, you know, the person doesn't have to have anything about them at all. They don't need to be particularly good at making videos. They don't even need to be particularly attractive. They just need to be there consistently and they need to have that hook. Um, now, when it comes to propaganda, it is of the people in charge it's in their best interest to provide the hook uh, so even now at this point if you're certainly following a certain way or a certain trend then you don't even have to provide the hook the hook is provided for you it is just off the peg propaganda whether you know it's just whether or not you want to choose that um assignment or not um so yeah that's that's basically my take on it and why the e-begging thing was an issue it's not now because it's been normalized um but why where this is where we're going now with this these people have been given power for a reason idiots given power by idiots for a reason to 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 control idiots and we're all in the midst of it looking at it going oh what's this what's that you've got other people who are trying to emulate it or trying to catch the right combination and all this stuff and it's like at the end of the day, we are all gearing up towards social scoring and all the about likes and the digital currency and being controlled. That is the end goal. So 
anything that you want him to do, if you want him to catch the algorithm or catch some sort of equation that's going to make you have the perfect channel or just a successful channel in some way, look at that because that is the aim. If you want to promote that aspect of things then go ahead and you will get a better you will get a better channel out of it but if you try and do anything for yourself you try and do anything for fun anything for hobby then just forget about trying to make bloody money what is the point why you're not going to make that much look at fucking dean tv you could give your soul away not just your soul as well, other people. I'm not even going to go into the names. But we know people who should be dear, near and dear to people get sacrificed. For what? A hundred dollars? What are you saying you've got, Dean? Like three hundred dollars a month? Fucking hell, at what price? And I mean, a dollar's what? It's not, it's not even the same as a quid, is it? So like, we're not even talking three hundred quid a month. And for what? 